Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We got the saga of Bud Light continuing. We got some interesting developments here. But before we get to the trans talk, let's get things straight. No pun intended. I wanted to talk about a couple of things because for whatever reason, it seems that people got it twisted. I was triggered over a beer can. If you go back and you look at my video, my original video and the subsequent ones after I originally said this didn't bug me at all, that, that I could care less that they work with a transgender individual or anything like that. The point that I was making with the videos was, one, I was reporting on a topic and giving my opinion, and two, I was asking the important question, what in the hell was Bud Light thinking and their head of marketing thinking when they did an ad campaign that alienated the majority of their main demographic. That's just bad business, especially if you're looking for, I guess, any kind of attention. Uh, this this person that was in charge of the marketing, this individual, this this woman, she has zero clue of how business works. You you do not purposely alienate your main consumer base, and that's the problem. That's why it's called go woke, go broke because. It causes bad things, all right? Oh, Eric, but what's woke? And you guys use woke, but no. Guys, look at the facts, okay? Some people came at me on my Facebook. Oh, why don't you report that they're up 11%, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, sure, they're up. They, they, they've recovered a little bit, but at the end of the day, nothing, nothing can deny that they lost value. Billions of dollars of value. It happened, all right? That is a fail for Bud Light. They panicked. They made their pro-America ad. They had to make a statement. They were radio silent for over a week. If you think that, oh, nothing happened and blah, 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 and that they came out okay, you are in denial, and you're the one that's triggered. Oh, but why don't you report on that? Well, I can report on what I want to report about. I could talk about what I want. I don't have to fucking cater to you. This is my channel. I don't have to validate or justify or explain shit to anyone. I never once called for a boycott either with Bud Light. I never said people do not support this. People, Bud Light's trash. I never I never insulted the company. I asked, what in the hell were they thinking trying to do this campaign? So let's get one thing fucking straight real quick. You fucking snowflakes. Now, with that said, the journey's not over for Bud Light. According to a, repol, a poll from Rasmussen Reports, I think I'm saying it right, Rasmussen Reports, more than half of Americans support the Bud Light boycott, this poll shows. So, Rasmussen Reports, I think, does like research data and things of that nature. They poll people and, and ask them questions and things of that nature. This is some interesting stats. Uh, we're going to take a look at this article real quick. So, let's go ahead and read it. This says, 54% uh, of American adults support a boycott of Anheuser-Busch's Bud Light, according to polling from Rasmussen Reports. America's desire to stop drinking Bud Light follows a furor that erupted a few weeks ago over the brand's decision to partner with controversial transgender social media influencer Dylan Mulvaney. The entire controversy got kicked off when Mulvaney, who is a biological male... Whether you want to deny that or not, became popular on social media for 365 days of girlhood campaign that documented their gender transition over the course of a year, received a special can from Bud Light with Mulvaney's face on it as a gift for completing a full year of pretending to be a woman. Mulvaney went on to share photos of the can on social media and also produced additional social media posts promoting Bud Light amid the and the then ongoing NCAA men's division basketball tournament known as March Madness. One of the posts included Mulvaney in a bathtub blowing bubbles and sipping from a can of Bud Light. Again, I don't give a shit. Oh my god, it's a trans don't no, I don't give a shit. My point was what the fuck was Bud Light thinking? What was Bud Light thinking? Okay, Mulvaney might have a huge fucking following. Alright? 
maybe they wanted to cater to people. Oh, Eric, they want to cater to this new progressive liberal college crowd. No, dude. No, don't give me those fucking straw man arguments. That's not what happened. The, the person that runs the marketing is a fucking idiot is what happened. All right. They're, they they were catering to a demographic that makes up less than 10% of the population. That's smart. So, yeah, this goes on to say that they faced heavy backlash from conservative commentators and celebrities over the partnership. Some called for a boycott. I never called for that, but for whatever reason, there's a couple individuals that think I did. Nope. So you can see uh, Rasmussen reports number of the day. Only 22% of Democrats say corporations don't pay attention to transgender issues. And then uh, Bud Flight, majority of Americans support the boycott over Dylan Mulvaney. Nearly a three to one margin. Americans say corporations pay too much attention to transgender issues. Even a plurality of 18 to 39 say too much. And uh, in addition to 54% support for a Bud Light boycott among all re- Americans, 53% of the Poland's male respondents, 57% of its white respondents, 66% of its Republican respondents, and 57% of those under 40 years old support the boycott as well. Alternatively, only 18% strongly oppose a boycott. Of that 18% who strongly oppose, identified as Democrats and 11% as Republicans. So interesting stats. And that also has to go to show that not everybody that wants to boycott or cancel this stuff is Republicans. And it's funny when people are like, oh, it's funny to see conservatives triggered over a a rainbow crown. At the same time, those people are triggered over a fucking Harry Potter video game. Like, (laughs) get out of here. You guys are fucking foolish, honestly. I just find it funny that people can twist uh, simple videos, talking opinion, uh, like I have, as, as, as hate. Guys, choosing to support a company or not, you know, me going and playing Hogwarts Legacy, or me choosing to boycott a beer... Or a fucking potato chip or whatever the fuck it is. Or or giving an opinion about something or choosing to support something. Is not going to cause transgenders to get killed. Transgenocide is a term that I've seen coming out. And, and I just think it's embellished a little bit. Are there groups out there that are very hateful towards transgender individuals? Yeah. But there's also groups that are hateful towards Mexicans. Like myself. There's groups that are hateful towards Christians. Groups that are hateful towards anybody that's not their race. You're not the only marginalized people in the world. And and for whatever reason, it's like, oh, we have to fucking play like... I don't even want to get into it. Regardless of what. <laughs> Alright? The whole situation is stupid. I give my opinion on that plenty of times. And it seems like the people that preach tolerance are the most intolerant when it comes to a person's opinion. But thank you for the engagement. I really appreciate it. (laughs) Thank you. 